David Hillowitz is one of my favorite YouTubers, and he recently did a video on the Casio VL tone. I found it oddly fascinating and went on a search to learn some technical details. I discovered this Synthrojack webpage, which has a wealth of information about the Casio VL1, as well as a bunch of other stuff. So basically, the Casio VL1 produces a waveform that consists of just a bitstream, a bunch of ones and zeros, basically, in various patterns. And there's six basic patterns, and then there's three other that also have some frequency modulation for special effects. But it's basically six different patterns, as you can see here. The digital chip in the Casio produces one of those waveforms at one of 11 different amplitude levels. But it does something interesting with that output stream. It doesn't send it out directly or even just filter it. This is the service manual for the VL1. And if we look a little bit into the manual, we find this simplified diagram that shows that after the signal comes out of the microcontroller, it's split into basically that binary waveform and an envelope with this envelope detector. And then it's reassembled in this primitive mixing stage. So let's see what it says about that. It says it's a transistor AND gate. So I haven't thought about this very much, but it looks like it basically takes the envelope and it essentially gates it, turns it on and off, according to the binary sequence extracted by this comparator. And I was trying to figure out why you would do this. And I think basically, if they were to just send the signal right out, you would hear the stepping. But with the envelope detector, you would get some sort of blurring of those steps. And then, of course, there's another capacitor here after this mixing stage that smooths things out further. But the thing I don't understand, and the reason I made this video is, I don't understand their envelope detector here. I think this must be an error, and if I'm missing something, please let me know. Because take a look at this. Let's see, they have a plus three rail and a minus three rail, and the minus three rail is hooked to the emitter of this transistor, and then it's hooked to this diode and this resistor and the capacitor. But if both of these things are hooked to minus three volts, the emitter here and all the rest of the stuff is basically decoupled. You're going to have minus three volt source here at the emitter that will happily source or sink, I guess sink, whatever current is flowing through the emitter here. And you'll have a minus three volts here that will happily source whatever current wants to go through this resistor and diode and into the space. So let me know what you think. Is this an error? And if it's not an error, explain to me what's going on here, because this feels really weird to me. Also, if you have a real schematic for this thing, let me know because I would really be interested in taking a look at that. I don't know why I'm so fascinated with this.